talking to us and saying he kept trying to tell you you're MVP, you're the best. Uh, what what do you think now? What's been it's going to take to convince you that that you were the MVP of these playoffs? Uh, you know, I still can't can't believe it, and uh, it's obviously the the whole team deserves it for sure, and uh, you know just to. Uh, to have uh, five shutouts in one playoffs, it's 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 all about team for sure. We 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 were able to uh, uh, to shut down the teams like four four times in a row uh, in a cl clinching games, and you know that's it's just amazing. It can't can't say more. It's it's all about, uh, it's not about me. It's about our team. John Romano, Tampa Bay Times. I'm okay, sorry. No problem. Mary Fiello, Tampa Bay Times. Andre, I saw you down on the ice. It looked like you were on your phone. I'm just curious who you were talking to and just what you were trying to share in that moment. Uh, same as last year, I called my uh, my parents first and just to, uh, as you uh, as you said, share a, mo uh, share a moment uh, with them too. And then I uh, called my brother as well. And... Um, you know, just I guess it's a uh, it's a uh, keep tradition going, and I mean they were watching. It's probably like four or five a.m. in Russia now, and they were watching me in the morning. So th that's amazing to just sh share share this moment with them. You know, unfortunately they uh, they couldn't get here uh, for this game because you know it's a little complicated, but. You know, I, I felt uh, their support, and that was just amazing. Joe Smith, The Athletic. Andrea, I know obviously Nikita was very proud of you and your accomplishments. What do you thought about what Nikita was able to do in these playoffs? Obviously, missing the whole year and playing hurt. Uh, can you put into words what he was able to do? Yeah, obviously, huge. Just uh, best goal scorer in the NHL, best. Uh, uh, the most uh, smartest player in the NHL for the past uh, few years, and I mean, he was a b the big part of our uh, of our team this play. I mean, he's a big part of our team generally, and uh, to just to miss uh, the whole season and uh, come back in the playoffs and to get uh, more more po more points, uh, like to uh, to second playoffs in a year. That's just amazing. Great player, great personality, and. To be honest, I was surprised that he didn't get that consummate. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Andre, you had to play off of that. I was, I was curious what you were thinking as they were bringing the consummate out there. Did you think you had a chance? Did you think it would be you? What, what went through your mind when Gary Bettman said your name for the consummate? I, to be honest, I could, couldn't believe it. I just. Uh, in a in a moment like this, you just uh, think about the cup, like how you raise the cup and con smite. It's I mean it's obviously huge, but it's it's uh, obviously secondary after the Stanley Cup. So and uh, as I said, I I thought the coach or uh, maybe uh, pointy uh, they they were going going to get that, but when they uh, they said my name, I, I didn't even hear it. Like and the guy starts like. They they started like, okay, go go get our what? They were like, my out. Oh, nice. So it was a big surprise. Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Andrea, congratulations and and as you said, uh, uh, you weren't able to really celebrate the moment with your family. But one of the great things about winning the Stanley Cup is you get to celebrate eventually the cup with them. I gather you guys didn't really get a chance to do that last year. Uh, were you disappointed you couldn't, or did you get to do anything with it? And what do you think you'll do with it this year? Mm, yeah, well, as parents, I brought my uh, parents here, and uh, they uh, we we all had a pretty good uh, time with the cup. And but uh, this year, you know, I I'm not sure what's the what's the ru uh, rules going to be um, here or in Russia. So obviously, I will uh, I will do everything I I can to. Uh, Get it to my um, to my city in Russia, so uh, to Ufa. And uh, but as I said, I don't know what's the rule, rules going to be. And 
I mean, we'll, I guess we'll find out in the next few days. Eric Erlinson, Lightning Insider. Congratulations, Andre. Thanks. Uh, you were part of a group that were on the ice in 2015 in Chicago and that disappointment that you guys felt. To come back six years later, win a cup on home ice with a lot of the group, knowing that there's probably changes coming next season, what, what does that mean to kind of have that journey with a, a lot of this group? Yeah, actually, you know what? That's uh, funny because I was uh, thinking about it uh, uh, right before the game, and uh, you probably know that I, I don't like to think too much before the game. But uh, I guess fortunately or unfortunately, I did, and um, I, I remember that uh, game six. I guess I was in uh, in Chicago when the, they won the uh, they won. A, I think that was. Do nothing, and they won the cup in front of home crowd, and I was like, "Wow, like m must be nice to do that in front of your your own fans." And you know what? We just did it, and still still can't believe it. That just to to win one cup, it's, it's unbelievable hard, and to to win back to back, it just takes uh, takes the team like like ours. Just you know what I. Can't say enough about our team. It was just amazing. I'm proud to play in front of them.